Hey guys, how are you? Welcome to COD Stage 4. Going to talk to you a little bit about managing KPIs. The KPI I want to talk about firstly is about managing the scoring ratio. Um, obviously KPI, you'll probably know this already, but stands for Key Performance Indicator, which is an indicator that is key to measuring performance. Pretty obvious. Uh, the scoring ratio, pretty easy to work out. If I go to the field today and I do zero sales, I did not score. And if three guys went to the field today and they did score, out of the four of us, we have a 75% scoring ratio, a three to one scoring ratio. For me, depending on the campaign you're in, if it's a high piece average, you should be aiming for a 100% scoring ratio every single day. If you are working with a group of people and you can run the KPIs and you can run that scoring ratio efficiently and you can have a 100% scoring if you're in maybe a charity campaign or, or a, an energy campaign, at that point, you know, with 100% scoring, you know that every person that you're responsible for every day is making money every single day. And that means that you can build a really strong group of people and you can have a massive, massive effect on them. If you're in a lower piece average campaign, maybe a securities or a B2B energy client, you know, your scoring ratio is way less. It means that you may be having a 66% scoring ratio, which means means two out of three people are scoring every day, or one person is scoring two days at every three. So if someone's at a 66% scoring ratio and it's a low piece campaign, they're in the field six days, that means four of the days they're doing sales, two of the days not, they're doing zeros, and depending on the campaign you're in, that may be acceptable or may not be. For most of us, I know we're in high piece average campaigns where we're looking for a 100% scoring ratio. Will you have people on, in the group of people that you're working with uh, scoring every single day? Well, that should be the ultimate goal. But by tracking it, I'm going to look at increases and decreases in your scoring ratio. It's a really interesting way to see the performance of the group of people that you're working with every single day. You know, obviously, if you start off with a 60% scoring ratio and over a week or two or a week period or a four week period, you could increase that to a 75% scoring ratio that directly relates to the average earnings that the individuals are making, directly relates to how many people you need in your group uh, in order to hit your criteria to receive your advancement. So get really good at managing those scoring ratios, get really good at working out those KPIs and you'll realize that life's really easy. Right? Managing those KPIs and that scoring ratio particularly is a really important skill to learn. For me, when I'm looking at a group of people that I'm working with, you know, if I have a scoring ratio that's poor, what I tend to do is I tend to make sure that the people with the highest scoring ratio are the ones doing all the coaching, and the people with the low scoring ratio are the ones doing all the listening and all the learning. You know, so that's a really important part to look at. I know that when I've been running groups of people with a low scoring ratio, there's certain meetings that I'll run every day. One of those, we used to refer to as a zero club. Uh, for in a, in, a, in, a, in a campaign with a lower piece average, anyone who had done zero sales the day before would be in a different sales coaching impact, and anybody with a scoring ratio of one or better would be in a different sales coaching impact. People with a high scoring ratio, we're gonna maximize that, educate them to get an even higher scoring ratio, we're then gonna use those people to teach the people the lowing score, or to coach people the lower scoring ratio, how to improve that, how to get that back up. We used to also then, as we worked in higher piece average campaigns, where we'd be expecting people to have a two piece average, anyone who did a zero or one would be in the binary club. If you know how to make computers, you'll know binary is how computers work, I think. Uh, but the binary club was zeros and ones. They'd be doing all the learning. The guys with above a two or better piece average, or two piece score ratio, those guys would be doing all the coaching. And that way we could you know, use, use our strengths to coach our weaknesses. Also then working with people with a lower scoring ratio, for a lot of it, most of the time, in my opinion, the reason that someone will go and do a zero in a day, particularly in a higher piece average campaign, be it charities, energy res, most of the time that is normally directly related to their attitude, to what they're saying to themselves in the field, asking themselves the questions, telling themselves that they're going to fail, telling themselves they're not going to win. Well, I know from working with people for years that the big thing is it's the voice in the head, them convincing themselves they're getting a result every single day. Sometimes it's quite good to explain to people that you can never do two or three sales a day, but you can do one sale two times a day or one sale three times a day and break it back down to, to bite-sized chunks, take all the pressure off them. And then also celebrate those wins. When you do increase the scoring ratio, it may be by 5%, it may be by 10%. Get really excited. Stand up in front of your group of people and celebrate. High five people, tell everyone they're awesome. And then, then set the target to break it again, to improve it again. But always looking at that and always looking to increase bit by bit and celebrate those wins. Hope this helped. Best of luck with managing your KPIs. Scoring ratio is a winner. Enjoy it. Have a good one. Best of luck. Take care.